Good morning, everybody. This is your pre-market analysis for July 11th. Uh, right now, futures are drifting higher a little bit here, sitting at around 196.54. Remember, yesterday we gapped uh, sharply lower uh, because a bank in Portugal missed their missed a payment on some short-term debt. It's funny how sometimes that news comes at interesting places in the market, right? Everybody kind of got washed out, uh, and then buyers just came right back in and uh, and picked up the dip. Um, so some other interesting things going on this morning uh, that you want to pay attention to is this Wells Fargo. Uh, this is the only major company here with earnings uh, uh, being reported today. Uh, earnings actually just came out at 8 o'clock, so she's pretty active right now. Stock was floating up higher to 52.40. Um, the estimates were for a dollar and a cent, and they came in uh, in line with estimates and also beat on revenue. Um, but right now, as you can see in the pre-market here, it looks like this thing is kind of fading, uh, fading the rally from the morning uh, and trading under 52. So this is a pretty important earnings here for the whole banking sector you want to make sure you keep uh, you keep an eye on the rest of these that are going to be reporting um, uh, uh, early next week so the Bank of America the Goldman Sachs all that will be out uh, uh, next week so you want to make sure uh, you keep an eye on these things if you are trading some of these banks uh, and as far as news today, guys, all you got is the Treasury budget coming out at two at two p.m. I highly doubt that's really going to have much of a uh, an, an impact on uh, on on prices for today. Uh, again, there's a lot of Fed speakers that are going to come out and talk about interest rates. When they're going to talk about rise uh, uh, raising these interest rates, so you know, keep an eye on any comments from uh, from the Fed speakers about that.